What's up everyone, it's Lex here with Guns and Buns. And today I decided to without a big gun. This is the Chris Vector CRB in the 45 ACP caliber. It is a highly accessible, very versatile pistol caliber carbine that combines the benefits of a rifle length barrel with compliance in 47 states. So whether it's for recreational use or competition use in the pistol caliber carbine division, or whether you're just looking to add something to your zombie apocalypse arsenal, this is an excellent choice for all of the above. We'll get into that in a second, but first as always, I just wanna give a very big shout out to my favorite gun shop over in Davie, Florida, Buddy's Smoking Gun. They provide me with all of my guns and all of my gun supply needs. So make sure you check them on, follow them on Instagram at the Smoking Gun 954 and when you have some time, head over to their website. The link will be down below. And you know, I always like to go over a few simple safety steps when handling a firearm, just to ensure the safety of yourself and the safety of those around you. And this big boy is no exception. So let's start with making sure we always keep our firearm pointed in a safe direction. Keep your finger off that trigger. Go ahead and verify that that magazine is empty. And go one step further and just double check and make sure that the firearm itself is empty and secure. It is, you guys gotta take my word for it, that angle I can't show you that it's empty and secure, but I did quadruple check it just for that uh, instance. So I know you guys heard me toss around that pistol caliber carbine term just shortly ago. For those of you that aren't sure what that is, it's basically just a gun that looks like a rifle and shoots pistol ammunition. Simple, plain, easy. It's not as complicated as it sounds. So with that being said, one of the cool features about this that I like is that, like I said, it shoots pistol ammunition. It is completely compatible with full size Glock magazines, basically allowing users to have a wider range of high capacity options when choosing what is best for you. So also at the core of the CRB lies this Super V system. Not that V system, get your mind out the gutter. The Super V system, I'll tell you guys what that is. I found out what it was last week when I took this out to the range for the first time. I had never shot it before. I wasn't sure what to expect. I am a small woman in stature. This is a big gun in comparison. So I'm waiting, you know, not knowing what to expect, thinking I'm gonna have my shoulder rock back, I'm gonna fall on my butt when I shoot it. I didn't know what, what to expect from it. I was pleasantly surprised. I shot it, I knew I shot it because I knew I pulled the trigger, but I had to like literally ask myself, did it shoot? That's how mitigated that recoil was. Like there was no kickback, there was nothing. It wasn't until I pulled the target forward and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're onto something, we're shooting. And that's that Super V system. So basically it is a unique, non-linear, multi-link blowback system engineered to just redirect recoil energy downwards. You combine that with the low bore access and it just effectively reduces felt recoil and it minimizes muzzle climb during rapid fire, just ensuring for better control and improved accuracy all around. I really liked it a lot. It was one of my favorite guns to shoot. I will post it as a short so you guys could see what I'm talking about. So the Vector CRB also does boast other practical features, including not limited to, you guys can check this out here. We've got this, these low profile flip sights. I wish I had more range for you guys to see. We've got those uh, low profile flip sights and then we have a full length. You guys can check that out there. Picatinny top rail, which just provides you with ample space to attach um, different optics, different lights, different lasers to customize it to your liking. Then in addition to these features, we also have a six position adjustable stock, which is basically allows users to customize the length of the pole to fit their preference and their shooting style. I personally love, love this firearm. To me, the Chris Vector CRB is reliable. It's adaptable for a pistol caliber carbine. Um, it just caters to both recreational shooters, competitive enthusiasts. Uh, I think it's great if you're in the market for something that's big, but you know you wanna be able to have a, a good control on. And not to mention, it's 
cool as hell looking. We have to admit that. It looks like something out of a video game. So you put that with the Super V system, the compatibility with the Glock magazines, the low bore access, the versatile stock, and I think it just makes it a well-rounded firearm. Whether you're looking to reduce recoil, and accurate shooting, customization options, I think it just delivers on all fronts. So if you guys have any questions about this, if there's anything that I didn't touch on, I know that there might be some features that you guys wanna hear about. Um, you guys can feel free to leave it in the comments and I will get back to you on that. This is not the stock magazine that comes with it. The stock magazine that comes with it is 13 rounds. This one has, I believe, 27 rounds. So that is just an, uh, something that I purchased for myself. Uh, but besides that, I think if you guys have anything that you want to know that I didn't touch base on, just go ahead, like I said, drop it in the comment. Tell me what you like about this firearm. If you have experience with it, I like to hear about that as well. And then also let me know in the future what firearms you would like to see me talk about, you'd like to see me field strip. Also hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and also tell your friends and tell a bunch of people to check me out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.